I have a lot of Serpent and Night camos to get done. So let's get them done on some of the worst guns in the game. And technically, these aren't even guns. This is the launcher. And this is the riot shield. Now, when I got these Golden Enigma and Zircon scale, I was not having a good time with them. These are very gimmicky weapons. The riot shield does have a little bit of use. Like you can kind of absorb a little bit of damage on your back and tank a little bit of damage, but it's not really a main weapon you're coming in with. And from what I've heard, the Storm Ender might've been buffed a little bit where it can actually knock some zombies back. But uh, as you can see here, it does basically no damage. And for us to get Serpent Tonight camo on this, we need to kill 10 elites with both of these weapons. So I brought in a, a lot of good stuff here. I'm going to throw on all these perks. I'm going to get these both to pack a punch too, because we're definitely going to need the damage boost. And can you even upgrade the rarity on this? Okay, we can get to purple. Can it kill zombies now? Okay, it can. But to the Storm Ender's credit, it can shoot from a pretty far range. Like I took all those zombies out there. It can penetrate. It can go through a, a decent amount of zombies, but it's just so weak. You need to have this pack a punch two in purple to even one shot zombies in tier one, but at least it's decent at like knocking zombies over. It's kind of like the RGL launcher without like the killing capability in any zone outside of tier one, but the range on it's pretty crazy. I'll give it that. But we need to get some elite kills. And uh, I'm not seeing any exfils close by. I guess the closest one's over here. But on our way there, let's try out an escort. Oh, we got 420 points. Shout out weed. All right, let's start this up. Please spawn me a good amount of manglers. We need them. This thing is like a, a noob buster. It's like if you play a friend in a fighting game using like a, a character that just deals crazy damage, but it's just terrible. And you're only doing well against them because they don't know how to play. That's how this gun feels. It's like using Ganondorf and Smash. No offense to Ganondorf mains. Actually, does a Riot Shield one shot here? It better with pack two. Okay, good. Still no elites though, which is like the whole point of this. And last time we used this, people told me that it's just fully automatic, or at least you don't have to stop shooting if you just hold down the trigger. And I'm just holding down click here. And uh, that appears to be true. Oh, I hear a Mangler. Can I do damage to him? Barely. It's doing a little bit. Well, that's one elite. <laughs> But we're going to need to kill a few more. As terrible as this gun is, dude, I kind of like it. It's goofy. And I hear another mangler. What's up, pal? Why don't you uh, have a seat? Like, imagine if this scaled up with any of the other tiers. This would be really good for trying to do, like, uh, an Elder Sigil escort mission. Because zombies haven't really touched this while I've been paying attention. Oh, speaking of paying attention. And you know what? Since we got a mangler right here, what is the riot shield doing against them? Oh, it's a two shot. Okay, Riot Shield, I see you. Since these weapons are overachieving, maybe I should go try another zone. Maybe these have been buffed and I didn't know about it. Is there any elites chilling in the tier two zone that I can try this out on? I just want to bring the Storm Ender back down to earth. The Storm Ender couldn't even end a light drizzle. You know what? There's a, there's a Exfil right here. Let's try this. What is it doing against tier two zombies? It is a four shot kill. It's actually not doing the worst though. As long as you keep the zombies in front of you, you can slow them down enough to do enough damage to kill them. Maybe I've treated you wrong, Storm Ender. I've disparaged your name. But those x has got me fucked up. I'm not seeing a single elite. This is a tier two x -fill. Some elites better start showing up. Oh, I see a Mangler shot. I'm gonna need these zombies to go on them decoy. And let's see what this does against the Manglers. Literally nothing. Less than nothing. I probably do more damage with my fists. But we're already here. So we got to commit. Oh, and I think uh, I just field upgrade canceled. Like I canceled the animation. It just activated without me having to do anything. And I could just keep shooting. Just uh, 40 more shots and this mangler might be dead. There we go. Just takes a, a little bit of patience to get this thing to work. But look how slow it makes them. It's got a little bit of something going for it. But while they're nice and slow. Actually, this is the perfect pairing. I can pair it with uh, the ride shield and slow these guys down so I can hit them. This is sick, actually. Did we just find the goaded combo? Did I just make the hit of the summer? I want to test something here. We got this zombie. I'm going to shoot him with this to slow him down. How long does he stay that slow? Not that long. So I have to keep hammering him with it. If I get him for long enough like this, I can bring this out and clean him up. Took uh, almost no damage during that fight too. And can we put an ammo mod on this yet? Oh, we can. So that's a bonus. Before you couldn't put any ammo mods on it. They must've fixed that. I wonder what ammo mod would be the best. Honestly, you throw brain rot on this. You're almost guaranteed to brain rot them every time. So it's not like you're gonna do enough damage to kill them before brain rot can go off. It's doing pretty all right against this disciple though. But the ammo mod is uh, strong against them. It's just such a goofy gun, dude. I love it. We need more gimmick guns like this. And it definitely can cancel your, your 
field upgrade animation. It just did it again there. It's no fluke. As long as you're just holding down the trigger with it. I should have brought in a legendary aether tool. We got to see this thing at its full potential. Oh, no. Not the mercs showing up. This is going to do no damage to them. I actually just destroyed their vehicle. Hell yeah, we EMP'd the shit out of them. We EMP'd them to death. This gun's just full of surprises. Oh, and we get our first down with it. Lame. Oh, and we got Serpentine. But we did just get an uh, insta-kill. Does it do any more damage with insta-kill? Not, not a whole lot. Did enough to help with the riot shield, though. We got to get enough money to get this thing pack three. We got to test this out against the big boys. This is actually such a good support weapon. Like, if you're running with a team in, like, tier three, and you want to do, like, an outlast contract or something stupid, you can just use this. You know what? Actually, I might go do that. Let me get our riot shield serpentine, and we'll go... Test this bad boy out. So this is a little embarrassing to admit, but it took me way longer than it should have to realize that the right shield is an MW2 weapon, not an MW3 weapon, meaning we can't get Serpent tonight on it. However, in my infinite wisdom, I did discover a few things about the Stormender. Oh, but it can't stop the Disciple Super Suck. That's a huge downfall of it. And it did allow us to put an ammo mod on this, but I haven't seen it go off like at all. Maybe it's just like I get a little extra damage on elites that are weak to it. But besides that, not a, not a whole lot going on. There also wasn't a whole lot going on in my head because I spent the rest of this game killing an insane amount of elites with the riot shield and still not getting the camo. We must have already gotten it done and I just didn't notice. Maybe I don't have the storm ender done, actually. Now I'm starting to psych myself out. We'll, we'll just have to see when we get out of the game because either this camo is bugged or I'm dumb and both are very likely. And we only got it for the storm ender. What happened? Don't say I don't have Zircon scale on the Riot Shield. I'm pissed if I don't. It'd be very on brand if I didn't, though. Oh. No fucking wonder. It's an MW2 weapon. How did I not know this the whole time? I'm sitting here killing elites with it thinking, oh, it's an MW3 weapon. Fucking idiot, dude. That makes so much sense. I must have been not dropped but thrown as a child. Right, well, after that blunder, let's uh, get some stuff done, shall we? This thing is now fully packed, fully raritied up. I'm going straight to tier three. What does it do against tier two zombies now? Um, it's a two shot. That's significantly better. And against tier three zombies, not so much, especially if they're heavily armored. Does slow them down quite a bit though. No super sprinters around these parts. Not on my watch. I don't even have stamina up right now. Well, let's get a bunch of zombies chasing us. This guy's right on our ass. Guess what? Gone. Slowed him the fuck down. Took years off his life. Same with the Hellhounds. Okay, one just bit me, so maybe not the best statistic there. But it does kill him in like eight shots. That's something. But I'm not here for the zombies. Well, I, I kind of am. We got to see a little bit of how they do. I want to see what we can do against a Mega Abomination. And hold on, someone's saying free schematics on the island? You bet your sweet bippy I'm going over there. If he's got a legendary Aether tool, I'm snagging that. I got first dibs, basically. I'm not above a handout. I will happily take a hand out. Uh-oh. Someone's racing me there. <gasps> um, um. I don't need any of these. Oh, wait, he dropped more. Epic Aether Tool plans, I don't have those. And Scorcher plans, I'll be taking that. Losers, appreciate it. All right, cool. We got some nice things. I'll definitely take an Epic Aether Tool plan. I haven't seen that shit in my life. All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. I'm not going to lie. This gun makes tier three very chill. Just turn around, shoot the gun twice, and the zombies are going to be a mile behind you. And you can even shoot them from that mile. Keep them away. Do any mega abominations uh, exist? I swear none ever spawn when I'm looking for them. This game always knows what I'm trying to do and does the opposite. It's kind of fucked up if you think about it. Let's do an outlast contract. All right, let's see if we can get this contract done in here. But I'm thinking... If my theory is right, you could be able to come in here. Like, everyone likes to run in and grab, like, the, the tier 3 cargoes just because it's, like, the easiest thing to do. You don't really need a tier 3 weapon or anything. But if you come in here with, like, a non-pack-a-punch, non rarity up weapon, fuck. You zombies aren't really helping my case. But if a smart person were to come in here with a, a Storm Ender that isn't pack-a-punch or rarity up, I'm sure it would slow the zombies down about the same amount. And if you play a bit smarter than I do, you might be able to come in here and do this contract pretty easily if the cargo's gone. All you gotta do is train around the top here. Make sure you're slowing the zombies down and you're good to go. There we go. We finished it. But uh, now we gotta survive. If we got a decoy, we could just throw it and grab our reward and get the fuck out. 
But I'm all out of decoys. Actually, since they're over there, I can slow them down. Let me check what we got. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. And let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Did any mega abominations spawn during that whole skirmish? Let's just go grab a bounty. We all know what we got to do. Will I be able to complete it? That's up for debate. I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. Will we give it a try? Hell yeah, we will. We'll give it the best try you've ever seen. I'm the best tryer out there. Nobody tries harder than me. Oh, and it is a mega bomb. Let's go. Where's the fat fuck spawning? What's going on, bitch? How much damage is this doing to you? Oh, none? Sweet. Does it even slow you down? I don't think so. Am I going to die to this laser? Probably a good chance. Stop fucking shooting it. Oh, it's doing absolutely nothing. At least this thing doesn't have a way to heal. Oh, get it while its mouth's open. Look at that. It's tickling him. I think the snowballs actually do more damage. Fuck it. I will shoot this guy for the next half hour if we have to. I will fucking kill him though. Mark my words. I'll be fighting this guy till fucking 2024. I'm literally just taking him for a walk around the building while this gun tickles him. But if I can get this done, I might be the first person to ever beat a mega abomination with just this. I am so tempted to put down this sentry gun too. But if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this right. Actually, I think the Aether Blade might have done a little damage to him there, but you guys won't hold that against me, right? It might die from old age before it dies from this. It's going to live a long and fruitful life. What we really need is an insta-kill. That might speed this up by maybe a minute. We're not even a dent into his health. We've been doing this for, what, like five minutes so far? It's felt like the longest five minutes of my life. He actually might be regenerating health. His immune system is fighting it off. He's got too many white blood cells for me to beat him. Oh, shit, and I'm going down. Fuck. How many self revives do I have? I got one more. No way there's another mega abomination coming over here. Come on. I don't even have enough for one of you. And now I'm getting double lasered. Oh, triple lasered. Yeah, keep it going. And we're down. Fuck. Oh, this asshole's the one that brought it over here. Fuck you, Sky Brother. Oh, and you're going to drive through this whole mess? Do you not see the fucking monster you've created? I'm going to end up leading this guy too far away. And he's going to end up running back to a spot with full health. I actually don't know where the other mega abomination went. I think it's probably chasing the other guy. Hopefully. If we're lucky. There we go. Almost a quarter of his health gone. It's only taking about 10 minutes to get here. What's another 22? Come on, asshole. Just die. If one of your heads blow up, actually, it'll be a win. It'll be a victory for me. This is pretty up there for the dumbest shit I've ever done in this game. I've done a lot of dumb shit. Oh, no. I don't need any help. Stay out of here. These guys don't know that they're witnessing history and interfering with it. No, 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 no. Oh, now I'm wide in the open. Oh, I'm just gonna have to ego it. Fuck. Let's see if this guy will come back and revive. No, now my mega bomb's running all the way over there. It's chasing this dude down. It's gonna heal off that. It's gonna heal off me just going down. That's like 15 minutes wasted on top of me about to lose all these perks. Unless this guy helps. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, please. No way, he just pushed into me with his car and then drove away. Oh wait, no, he's coming back for help. That cashmere is gonna be clean, gonna be clutch. Oh no, and he's helping. It did regen health though. I think this is a lost cause. I'm dead from this laser. Oh wait, I take no damage from the laser with Frenzy Guard up. Also new tech. Oh, I really don't want to go down again and ask for help again. But I think it's Jover. There's no killing this guy. We need to somehow get out of here with our lives. There's just so many zombies around. Later, Polerk. Actually, hold on. If he stays right here, I can just get him from here. New meta. If I get him from this range, he's got no chance. I can just constantly lay the wood. I'm going to throw a sentry gun behind me though. Just in case. Just to watch my back. Oh, it just fully healed. God damn it. And he's walking away. All right, now it's actually over. They gave me hope. I'm going to cancel my contract. Be free. That was a very eventful 20 minutes. Well, I guess so. This game isn't a complete waste. Uh, I'm going to try to get Serpent tonight on this gun. And I know for sure that I can get it on this one. Oh, and there's Serpent tonight. Let's go. And by let's go, I mean let's actually get the fuck out of here. I'm done. All right, well, just in case you're curious, this is what our Storm Ender looks like with Serpentinite on it. Very, very nice camo. The weapon, we found some good uses for it, but uh, yeah, probably not my go-to. Very good support weapon, though. We got to bring in a, a secondary. This is probably it. Probably don't even need to pack a punch or nothing. Well, we definitely found some good uses for the Storm Ender while getting in Serpentinite. And as for our Riot Shield, uh, 
I'm pretty fucking stupid, but that's not news to anybody. But I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.